Jeffrey, let's start talking about GMOs and, and how and why did the thought of genetically altering our food even start in the first place? One of the main reasons that genetic engineering has come about is that Monsanto was, had, had their Roundup patent running out in the year 2000. Okay. And so they created Roundup ready crops for farmers so that when they buy the seeds, they sign a contract that they'll buy Monsanto's version of Roundup. And that extended in a kind of way their patent on their most popular herbicide in the world. The theory is that it's a more precise, or their, their PR theory mm -hmm. is that it's a more precise method of what we're doing every day when we cross species, genes from the, from the mother and the father cross into the offspring and mix and match and create new combinations. Here you take a gene from one species and force it into the DNA of another species, so they call that more, more precise. But what's actually happening is you're taking genes from species from kingdoms that have never existed in the other kingdom. The process of insertion plus cloning, which is how they create the plant, causes massive collateral damage in the DNA. So there could be hundreds or thousands of mutations in the DNA as a result of the process of genetic engineering, and most of the problems associated with that are dismissed. They're not even evaluated. So there's new allergens, possibly new toxins and anti-nutrients in the GM crops that we don't even know about until perhaps some independent scientist does research afterwards and discovers, oh, Monsanto's corn has a new allergen. Monsanto's soy, when cooked, has up to seven times the amount of an existing allergen. These are disregarded.